Is the American dream of OCI crashing? Asian Americans with a population of about 1.8 crores are the highest earning ethnic group in the United States of America, and in that grouping, Indian Americans have the highest median household income. A main reason being that 70% of the Indian American population holds a bachelor's degree, while the national average is merely 28%. But from 2020 to 2023, there have been several reports of murder suicides among expat Indians living in the U.S. It's a less discussed problem and rarely talked about, even among overseas citizens of India (OCIs). Is the American dream souring for many American Indians? This is Quick Take, your quick guide. I am Smita Prakash. First, let's figure out what is the American dream. It traditionally refers to the belief that any citizen of America, regardless of his or her background, can achieve success and prosperity through hard work and determination. And what works perfectly for expat Indians in achieving this American dream? It is more than anything else, job availability. And once you get a certain level of financial success, you can get upward mobility. Your caste. Religion, family background, all that doesn't matter. So, what is going wrong? Why is there a spate of murder suicides among prosperous Indian origin families in the U.S.? An Indian origin couple and their teenage daughter were found dead in their mansion in the U.S. state of Massachusetts on December twenty eighth, twenty twenty three. Their deaths have been ruled as murder suicide. Tina was an alum of Harvard University. The former millionaire couple Rajesh Kamal and Tina ran an education system company called Edunova. They lived in a huge mansion and had a high-profile lifestyle, but they ran into financial trouble. Murder suicide followed. Earlier in 2023, radiologist Dharmesh Patel drove off a cliff in California in his Tesla in what appeared to be attempted murder suicide, though he pleaded not guilty. He has been charged with three counts of attempted murder, while his wife says he was depressed. In November 2023, Om Brahmbhat shot dead his grandparents and uncle in New Jersey. IT professional Chandrasekhar Sunkara, his wife Lavanya, and two sons were found dead with gunshot wounds. A family friend said he was suffering from depression. He killed his wife and sons and shot himself. Like back in India, Indian Americans hesitate in receiving help for mental disorders. They fear social stigma, losing jobs, prejudice in the community, and discrimination among friends and family. Many in the community feel that there is a strong hesitation in seeking professional help for mental illness, as it runs against the view that Indian culture is strong enough to deal with emotional trauma. The distrust in mental health care system is also a barrier to seeking help, despite the fact that there are hundreds of thousands of Indian physicians working in the U.S. The ethnic Indian community is a very vibrant one, known to celebrate festivals and community events in large numbers. But the pressure to be hyper successful has caused added pressures. It has often been seen that South Asian parents, that is, parents of Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Sri Lankan origin, are less likely to recognize warning signs of serious mental health conditions in their children, and even if they are confronted with it, they would rather manage it at home than seek help. It's all in your head or get over it is the worst thing you can ever tell your spouse, sibling, children, or even parents. However rich or successful you may be, the American dream is one of chasing financial success, of upward mobility. That dream is an aspirational one. Sometimes dreams do sour. Family and community should seek out help or give help when in trouble. But concealing troubles under a facade of normalcy for fear of being shamed by family back home in India. Or in the community in the U.S. is what is preventing expat Indians from seeking help. It's a dangerous cocktail. <laughs>